Welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. I backtracked here because, uh, I didn't have the scimitar and magic lens to give to this antlion man, so now I can finally give it to him. Damn it, Jane, learn, learn your mystic art already. <laughs> God, you're far ahead. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm far ahead in recordings, too. We just haven't had time to catch up to that And point. I can't record anything. <laughs> well, 3DS-wise, anyway. Yeah. Technically, you could, but I wouldn't. I don't blame you for not wanting to spend like five hundred dollars on a 3DS capture card. Let's see. We spent uh, about two thousand on the scimitar, and what else was there? Uh, ma it was a magic lens, so like a hundred and a hundred on the magic. So we lens, spent so. twenty one hundred for that stuff, only to get an orange gel. That's worth about one eighty. I know it looks bad, but trust me, it's a side quest that you have to do. <laughs> well, you don't have to, but I'm going to show it off anyway. And jump cutting, because it takes forever for me to, for me to get back here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I forgot you exist. <laughs> He's been here literally the entire time. Not have. in my game. <laughs> <laughs> You're farther ahead in literally, there. Literally, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna tell the audience here, like literally during my trek, um, I I keep forgetting Ion's there because he doesn't do anything. <laughs> I actually forget. He doesn't have to do anything. Sometimes I, I even forget that Ion's even on even in the cutscenes because I keep I, I don't see him in battle, and I'm like I I keep forgetting he even exists for some reason. <laughs> Well, he's kind of essential to the plot. I know he is, but him. I keep forgetting he's even there. <laughs> Please save economics for your for, for your freaking uh, uh, trigonometry class. No, wait. It, it was accounting class. Crap. For your economics class. Please save. Can we please, save your, please save your economics for accounting. Uh, Jade. <laughs> Change videos as well have much effect. Yeah. Evacuation should be our top priority, even though you don't do it at anyway. <laughs> Great evacuation. Oh, <laughs> evacuation. Oh, we haven't actually gotten to Axaria Youth yet. That's kind of the whole point of what we're trying to do. Right I know. Now. <laughs> I'm just. A, I know. I know. You just can't, you just want me to you just can't wait for us to get to that particular point because I know I know you're dying to talk about that scene. <laughs> I'm just I'm just sick of douchebag. Right? I am too. I am too. I'm just sitting here waiting for it to happen. I'm just sitting here waiting for douchebag to go away for a bit. Don't spoil anything now. <laughs> I know. Who said I was spoiling anything? You just want him to go. Away. Stop talking, game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never get this many skits while playing. You either just aren't noticing them, or maybe they don't show up as frequently in the 3DS. I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess that they don't show up as frequently because I never got this many in, during the th during my trek in the 3DS. Well, here's the thing: with like, you get like three or four in a row, and then you don't get any more for like two hours. <laughs> never happened to me. Well, at least that's how it works for me. It's like Namco, you need to spread these out a little more. I think that's what they did in the 3DS version because I didn't start getting two until. Uh, uh, we got to so and so with blah blah blah. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> That's why I didn't say anything. Okay. So, well, I, I know, I know. But, <laughs> which is why I'm like, I know who you're talking about, so I don't feel bad about you having to not spoil it. Anyways, I went back into St. Bina, bought some stuff. <laughs> not really worth showing that I bought stuff because I just bought items. And now I gotta go all the way, the way back, back there. I. Wait. I think I remember this. Isn't this the point where you said you got lost or something? A little bit, because you have to go back to ba you have to go back towards Baticle, because we have to go to the Dio Pass. <laughs> but Dio Pass is the exact opposite side of the world as this, which means I have to walk all the way back. <laughs> Your own fault for wanting to do side quests. Hey, I'm not blaming. I'm not saying that I'm. Like I'm not blaming the game for it. I I wanted to do side quests. So I'm gonna try and show off as much of this game as I possibly can. <laughs> I would totally blame the game. Because <laughs> I'm just a douchebag like that. <laughs> what I'm. It's more because I'm so used to like. I'm gonna spoil a little bit, but I, with every tales with every 3D tales game, there's always a point where you eventually can get something that just lets you jump to any previous town you've ever been to before. Yeah. 
And by the time you get that, it's amazing because then you just like doing this is uh, doing this is com rendered completely pointless. You don't have to worry about running halfway across the world map to get to places. <laughs> you just go, oh, I need to go to Engave, and I'm at so and I'm at so and so. Jump into a <laughs> jump into my ship, press X, boom, I'm there. <laughs> As opposed to taking 30 minutes to walk back there. And the thing is, it's because that stupid bridge never gets rebuilt for so long. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> so you have to keep going through Cheagle Woods and stuff, and it's really frustrating. Because, like, it doesn't... It's like, it's right there. And I'm like, I'm like I don't have to go through Tataru Valley, because that's going the exact opposite direction. I'm kind of imagine I'm kind of imagining Nat at this point I'm kind of imagining Natalia getting tired from taking like three steps out of this town. <laughs> and she's like, "Luke, catch me." And Luke's like, "Not caring." <laughs> oh, I can't go on. Luke, I can't go on. Go on without. You're taking five steps. Just go on and take five steps. And carry it's me like, with you. Oh. It's like, and carry and like, carry me with you. We're taking five steps out of Bina. <laughs> No, this is Luke. I'm like, and carry me with you. Ha! <laughs> and carry me with you. I have a better idea. Just starts dragging her. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't even do that. <laughs> he drags her with drag her. Drags her using the sword. <laughs> he, he would just he would just go on without no, her. No, he uses the sword as a stick. <laughs> drag her along. <laughs> or <laughs> Akuta Matata, motherfucker! <laughs> God dang it! And another search point. Yay. Search pointing. Don't worry, I do eventually cut ahead because I because this takes forever. I don't blame you. It's yeah. I mean, it. I know how to get there. It just takes so long to walk all the way back there. <laughs> because of because of the location that I'm at, it, you literally have to walk all the way around Saint Bina. I like it. And then walk back. And then walk back. And it's like no. I like how. I like no, how. That takes I like how technology can be summed up as fun item. <laughs> it's like it's like what's this fun calculator? What? <laughs> well, everything's fun. Everything's phonicry in this world. <laughs> everything's composed of sound. <laughs> the music master would be pleased. <laughs> Well, I mean, this kind of, this is why I said this kind of reminds me of Earthbound, because music's a big key point of that game, too. The music master would love this world. Oh, God, no. <laughs> For those that... No Neil Patrick Harris, what are you doing here? <laughs> For those that don't know, look up, Bat look, go on YouTube, look up Batman Beyond Music Meister. Or, not Batman, Bra uh, Brave Batman. Yeah, I was going to say, I was getting ready to correct myself. Look like, up wait, Batman Brave in the... If he was in Batman Beyond, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All seriousness thrown out the window at this point. <laughs> you're, at, you're talking as if there was seriousness at all. <laughs> yeah, Batman, Batman Beyond there was. Apparently. It's hard to take the thing... It's hard to take the series seriously when, it, when you have pretty much the symbiote going everywhere. What was her name? You're, what was you're her thinking name? of Brave and the Bold again, No, dude. no, that's what it was. Batman Beyond had that um sim had that symbio girl. I forget her name now. Oh, that true. That too. Or that one episode. Or that one episode with Evil Superman. Evil <laughs> Superman. <laughs> yeah, he was just going around looking like a dead body the entire time. <laughs> it's like he was like this giant stiff board, and he had that one little machine on his chest that was controlling him. It's like <laughs> he was just hovering around shooting lasers at Terry. It's like a bit. It's like a bit. <laughs> It's like if a little kid was controlling Superman, he didn't know how to pose him correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he was like a little action figure, and he's just like floating there. <laughs> now I'm going the right way, I just <laughs> have to get over there. Fear me, please. <laughs> well, I mean, he should, because at that point, too, like, like Superman's like 60 years old, and he can still kick the crap out of everybody in that show. <laughs> Why does life hate me so? Why does Bruce hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised Metropolis still exists in that universe. <laughs> well, well, Metropolis is Superman's territory, and the bridge is out again. Have fun with that. Well, I'm on the other side of the bridge, and it's like the bridge is still broken. The bridge is out! Like, you're going the wrong way. Like, well, I'm technically going the right way, but I'm just not... Like, I'm on the right continent, but I gotta walk all the way around. Like, there we go. Boink. So, yeah. 
<laughs> I realized I kept going the wrong way. Like, oh, I took a left. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I guess. Boom! Done. Bugs Bunny would be shameful. No, he'd be proud. He's the one that's always taking the wrong turn. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention something. Um, while I was at Otocon, you know what I for you know what I picked up? What? Apparently there's a there exists Tales of Symphonia playing cards. Oh, sweet. They're, they're, no, and, and by playing cards, I mean actual playing cards, as in the kind you use to play poker in uh, 21 with. No, I, I believe I'm sitting, there, I'm sitting there like, why is this a thing? <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's like, what would, you use, what would you use this for? Oh, that's a dumb question. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like you think it, it's like an, it's like you have this really epic RPG. What kind of merchandise can we come up for him? Playing cards, of course. I don't know. You make it into an. You can make it into a. You can make it into a strategy RPG like Fire Emblem. I don't see why you couldn't make it into a card game. <laughs> the fun, funny enough, granted all the. Granted, all the RTS Tales games are on PSP, and so nobody ever played them. Well, there's that one Tales of the World game that's on 3DS. That we still don't have yet. <laughs> eh, well, I'm sure we'll get it eventually. I would have thought we had gotten it by now. <laughs> eh, you don't know how translation works. Actually, I take that back. Well, I know Actually, I take, that, I take that back. You don't know how Namco works. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do know how Namco works. Like, hey, this game came out in Japan. When are we going to get it? A year and a half later. <laughs> Oh, it's like, oh wait, we're working on multiple projects. Make that two years. <laughs> What's that fan petition? Three years. <laughs> it's like, yay, Tales of Zestaria is out in America. In Japan. Oh, in Japan. What's that? I'm too busy playing Berseria. Like, did, you say, did you say Berseria? Well, that's the meme that's been going around with it. I don't know. I like I like the but I like Tales of Bazongia better. God damn it. <laughs> Point is, by the time we get Zestaria, <laughs> that name is now by the time we get Zestaria, Bazeria is gonna be out in Japan. So. <laughs> that 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 term is now engraved in your mind. Tales Tales of Bazongia. That's <laughs> no, it's more in your mind. You're the one that keeps bringing it up. It's now in logic mind too. <laughs> Well, that's logic. <laughs> oh, he's got stuff like that on his mind. Anyway, Dio Pass is over this way. It doesn't look like you can go in there, because it's just a mountain. But, uh, yeah, Dio Pass is that way. I remember, Crab, I remember, um, way. I remember, in, um, I attended, um, Otakon actually had a, uh, Tales of Tales panel there, where they had, where they discussed the franchise and how it's grown since then. I forget, they gave, it. they gave, like, um, they gave summaries for every single entry in the series, but I, I, I'm trying to remember what they what it, what summary they gave of this. It was something really funny, but I just can't remember what it was. Hmm. It was something really good too. <laughs> it makes me sad. Is it? Would it be a massive spoiler? <laughs> uh, kinda. Yeah. So I'm not gonna say it right it now. It probably would be considering. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> considering the other ones you told me about. This rate will never catch up to Master Ban. Who cares? You know, every time I hear Master Van, I keep thinking it's it's an actual minivan. <laughs> it's like it's like once you catch up the Master Van, it's the Mr. Machine. <laughs> I'm just, it's like it's like we had to catch up the Master Van. He looks at it's the Mystery Machine. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, it was Scooby Doo and everything. <laughs> as much as I love this game, this is the one part that I kind of hate because this is the point where Luke gets really, really bad. That's why I poke fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it, it's more to the point where even I find it annoying because, like, Jesus Christ, Luke. <laughs> well, uh, again, that's why everybody put, gives him a good. That's why everybody gives him a good slap in the head. <laughs> it's like, it's like, wow. <laughs> It's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, Knuckles getting repeatedly hit in, with coconuts in the DK versus Knuckles death battle. <laughs> yeah, I remember Bam. that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted an excuse to keep using that. Of course they did. <laughs> Why would they not? Like anybody knew that. Do, spoiler alert: DK wins. Oh, like, like that was a big a shock. I see. <laughs> When does so, Knuckles ever win at anything? Well, he won against Chaos, but that's kind of the point where Chaos isn't even trying. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because technically, he just, because technically Sonic still beats him. 
Well, he fought, he fought, um, what was it? I think Chaos 2, but at that point, Chaos wasn't even trying, so. <laughs> uh, by the way, guy, instead of thinking that out, instead of thinking that to yourself, why don't you just tell that to Luke? You're his best friend. If you tell him to just, you know, like, kind of think before you talk, he might actually listen to you instead of bitch. It's a long sh it's, it, it's a long shot. Since he's kind of being a jerk right now, but you can attempt to. <laughs> I just kind of like th I keep thinking as is like did it one is like as soon as you turn around, I will kill you in your sleep and steal your money. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> eventually we will find out why Annis wants money so much, but that's not going to be for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm just imagining um, Annis going James Bond on uh, like this, <laughs> just trying to get money. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already, you and I already know why Annis likes money, but we'll get to that exact money, point money, of this money, game money. In, a, in a while. Money, 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 money. <laughs> no, I'm not eavesdropping. <laughs> Shifty eyes. <laughs> it's like, I heard my name called. What's up? <laughs> it's like Jade about Luke. What about me? I'm like God, you were all the way over there. <laughs> I heard my name being called. You're in Burger King. You still hear my name being called. <laughs> Why were you in Burger King? I wanted a sandwich. <laughs> Why the hamburger? McDonald's is better. Yeah, but that's further away. Starbucks is right there. They don't have burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine him hanging out with Maya just because. <laughs> now now imagining, now imagining every dungeon having a Starbucks for just no reason. Oh god, no. <laughs> Could you imagine how awkward that would be? Just go to the final dungeon and there's Starbucks. <laughs> the final boss is just... Well, that would explain what the final boss is doing waiting for you. It's like, well, at least I got a coffee. Not gonna lie. <laughs> They'll get here eventually. Not gonna lie, I did not know that was there. It's just an apple gel. <laughs> Basic, um... But yeah, that's something I should have brought up earlier once you got Mew Attack. Just use Mew Attack on everything, because you never know what you're gonna find. Granted, sometimes you're gonna attack things and it's gonna be a monster, but hey, free experience. <laughs> crab. Uh, that's a pelican. No, I'm just I was having bad memories of crabs. Oh, <laughs> not literally. In one in one dungeon, I can't. In one, I'm, this isn't spoiling anything for the record, so I'm free to say it. Yeah. Um, I'm literally going through one dungeon, and every tra everywhere, every place I turn, iron crab, iron crab, iron crab, so many freaking crabs. Crab battle. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much what it was—a giant freaking crab battle. <laughs> it's like if Red Lobster won revenge on me or something. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just follow my nose to Over your death. Over limits are pointless. Cause I don't have special yet. <laughs> Just follow my nose to your death. <laughs> when Toucan Dang Sam, Toucan. <laughs> when Toucan Sam goes rogue, <laughs> that would explain why we haven't seen any new Fruit Loop commercials in for freaking ever. <laughs> They're still coming over the re for a reason for Toucan Sam to go on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! No, they're not. Giant bees. Not the bees. No, I'm going not the bees. Ah! Fighting, fighting insect-type enemies in Tales games is always annoying because it's so hard to hit them sometimes. They have stingers. That I just noticed they have stingers. They have, they have knives for stingers. Jesus. Yes, they. I did do. not even notice that while in the 30th version. <laughs> well, it's just that I think there's two different kinds of enemies. Oh, I guess this must be a rare occurrence or something. I guess that must be a rare enemy or something. Maybe. Or maybe you killed it really quickly and didn't notice. I probably just didn't notice. And haven't learned anything new yet. So yeah, the standard dungeon. Okay. <laughs> and tree end. <laughs> Random tree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Burn it. <laughs> Don't worry too much about this guy. because he's, he's a pushover. So, so freaking easy. He's a pushover. Every single spell you use knocks him over like that. And he's... You can keep him stunned for pretty much He's forever. A, this thing's a pushover. I killed it in seconds. I would have killed him by now if I didn't. If he didn't keep getting completely knocked away at this point. There yeah, we go. There he goes. Of course we're all right. Why would I not be all right? Like 
You're, you're still not doing your job, Tyr. You're supposed to be healing me. Not that I need it, but... It's like, do it. It's like, well, def well, offense is good defense. Yeah, but I don't see you doing anything. Who do you think cast Nightmare? Hmm? Who didn't cast Nightmare? We were the ones doing all the damage here. I'm always casting Nightmare. What about you? Anyway, and rock. Anyway, I was gonna go on there and they're like, oh wait, there's more yeah. stuff here. Money! We need more money. <laughs> money is always treasure. Why do we have to pay for senior citizens? <laughs> I deserve free money! <laughs> I miss Futurama. We all miss Futurama. That's not a. That's not a. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what that I, is. I, I, I always thought there should be something in those rocks. It kind of looks like there's. So, it kind of looks like something should have been there. Or, or something like that you're supposed to use new fire on, and it like lights something up or something. Yeah. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to Symphonia, where it did have puzzles like that. And God dang, B. <laughs> I have never been dizzy before in this game. Uh. It's I might have been trying to free run. The second you get hit from free run, you automatically get stunned. Well, you also get a critical hit, but half time doesn't mean much. Yeah, but I think it—I think you automatically get stunned if you get hit in a free yes, run. Yes, that's true. And I might have been holding R2 at the time and not realizing it. <laughs> yes, in free run, you're automatically stunned no matter what. Yeah. I, I just instinctively hold down R2 when I do fights because you never know when you're going to need to move. Of course not. At this point, I think I was looking at notes, which is why I kept, which is why the battle screen's staying up a little well, too long. To bring, I'm My trying bad. to figure out what weapon you have. <laughs> I can't remember. Was it the uh, scimitar, or maybe it might be a scimitar. Maybe it looks it looks like one. <laughs> <laughs> you got wind stick. What? <laughs> Wooden sword. No. God dang it. <laughs> Wooden sword on fire. <laughs> and I learned Raging Havoc. Love that move. <laughs> Raging Havoc? Yep. Meh. Uh, Havoc Strike and what is he doing? Blast. <laughs> what was that tree doing? <laughs> he's headbanging. Uh, I think he was trying to target Guy, and then Guy free ran out of the way, and he freaked out. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes the AI doesn't know what to do when you're using free run. It kind of looks like, look like he was ready to barf something. Like, he, he, like, he uh, like you can be standing in front like of him, and him. because you move on a Z axis instead of a Y axis, it freaks the game out. It's like it's like he was trying to barf and forgot it. It's like he was trying to barf because he ate too many gels. And I just realized I said Z axis. There's no such thing as a Z axis. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, like I said, I, when you use free run, it can really mess with the computer AI, like, right there. <laughs> the Z-axis only applies to the digital world. That's why I said, I, I realized I said Z-axis, I'm like, wait, no, it's Y-axis, what am I, I need to know my geometry terms again. <laughs> How do I geometry? <laughs> Which is weird, because I do better in geometry. <laughs> um, and also, and also in I remember this. this game, they mention geometry a lot in this game. Yeah. Math is used a lot in this game. I remember this part. Or maybe it's the next yeah, moment. we're coming up to the end of this dungeon, or quote unquote. Well, the dungeon. midway through, anyway. Yeah, I remember this part. And this is the yeah. We're getting to the point where Luke gets really bad. <laughs> to the point where I'm surprised they don't knock him off the cliff and just go on with their lives. <laughs> to be, at least it's not for much longer. Yeah. I'm not gonna. All I'm gonna say is like he gets really bad for like one dungeon yeah. and then it's done. So. Oh, my face. My precious modeling career. <laughs> Got right in the ass. <laughs> I would have stopped to feel that paralyzed, but it, yeah. it's, it kind of so. looked like Guy knocked you out of the way so he could get the victory. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's like, no, it's my it's kill. Like, All right, now I'm going to kill this. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> he had, he stole, he took, you just killed. You just stole my kill, you jerk! I didn't see your name uh, on it. I didn't it. see you doing anything. <laughs> I was just about. To... No, it's like it's like this. You stole my kill. I didn't see your name on it. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> I kind of like that. I got. <laughs> I think right here I got mesmerized by that wolf that's constantly running in place right now. <laughs> you know he's getting his jog on. <laughs> it's like ah, yeah. I will, like, I will attack you eventually. <laughs> if I can get there off I this go. automatic treadmill. God <laughs> dang it. Why is there a treadmill in, the, in a freaking mountain? 
Not gonna lie, that kind of looked a, that kind of looked cute watching that thing run. I like think that. I think in the 3DS version they actually they actually um, added a background element to this part because um, I re oh, okay. I remember being more I remember the um, background being a little more clear than that. Yeah, the draw distance in this <coughs> game is kind of yeah. I think yeah. they I think they actually added added some graphical effects to the 3DS version. That makes sense. They like making the draw distance better, um, adding some graph, adding some graphical background effects, like like adding like more mountains and grassy areas in the back. Hey, look, it, this part looks yeah, really nice. This part looks really is, nice. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. That Luke and that's gets. why I'm ignoring this scene. Um, <laughs> it's kind of important. <laughs> it's kind of plot. -related. I don't care. I'm ignoring this scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just uh, I'm just saying that the, I'm just telling the 3DS differences that um this point this this actual cutscene is edited to make the look actually that make the uh, draw distance in the background actually better. So what can you actually see in the background? Um, you can actually see the next town in the background, I believe. Thank you. Oh, nice. Like um, I believe they added a graphic so that you can actually see the uh, naval port from there. I'm not 100 percent sure. Sweet. But I think it's like a, I think it's like a stretched out I think it's like a st a stretched out background element though. At least it's not kryptonite fog. <laughs> Looking at you, <laughs> Superman 64. <laughs> yes, you have to justify your horrible draw distance programming with kryptonic fog. What? Luke, if you want to get to me, follow complete my maze. <laughs> follow my. <laughs> yeah, you hear Van in the background. If you want to find me, solve my maze. Oh man, <laughs> Master, what are you talking about? Solve my maze, damn it! <laughs> it's a, it's a, it got, come on, it's not that hard to solve. It's, a, it's just a crossword puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna finish up Dio Pass in the next. And part. I promise they won't drop kick him off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs>